Good morning. Here is Kiwi DNG's new recap from Monday, September 11, 2023. Nigerians will no longer have difficulty getting visa to the United Arab Emirates after President Bola Tinubu reached a deal with the UAE, effectively stopping the visa ban on Nigerian travelers. Tinubu spokesman Ajuri Ingilali said in a statement that by agreement, both Etihad Airlines and Emirates Airlines are to immediately resume flight schedules into and out of Nigeria without any further delay. The development has been greeted with applause from many. A federal high court in Port Harcourt has convicted and sentenced former managing director of the Niger Delta Development Commission, George Suna, and two others to six years imprisonment for obtaining money under false pretense. Tuna was the political godson of the former president's good luck Jonathan. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, announced this on Monday, adding that they were jailed on September 7th. Presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 election, Peter Obi, has congratulated Gandhi Olaoye on his ascension to the throne as the son of Obumosho. Amid the legal battle over his enthronement, Mr. Obi, in a post on X, formerly Twitter, described Olaoye's elevation as most deserved. In the entertainment scene, actor Stan Inze and wife Blessing Obasi have announced they are expecting twin girls while also celebrating their second wedding anniversary. Stan shared a video on Instagram which featured him and Blessing dressed in matching colored outfits with the latter showing off a baby bump. The couple revealed their baby's gender via their YouTube channel. That's the news recap on QEDNG. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for engaging content. Like our videos and drop your comments.